What's going on YouTubers? Today's video is going to be about um, cross-platform on Gears of War 4 and uh, it's the game mode now guys. If you guys haven't noticed, um, Collision just released on their Facebook feed that uh, you're able to play uh, against Xbox and PC gamers in one game. So it's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, I want to let you know guys how I really feel about this. Uh, so far what I experienced playing this, uh, I have fun. But the question is, that the Xbox players are having fun or not? Now, um... <sighs> guys, this is not easy for me to explain, but let's talk about this. I made videos about if, if cross-platform should happen or not. And, uh... There was a lot of things I said about why PC gamers is got, could dominate Xbox players by a long run. And whether or not will Xbox players be able to enjoy the experience of going against PC gamers. And... Guys, so far, I haven't really played in Xbox. I'm playing on my PC, obviously, against Xbox players and PC gamers at once. And all I have to say is, guys, uh, I feel like I'm having a lot of fun playing. And at the same time, I'm able to play with my friends now. Some of my friends are have the Xbox and they can't play with me because I have the PC. But now they released this for a few days. I'm able to play with my friends and it's pretty fun to join. You know, it's pretty fun that I'm able to play with my friends and, uh, but at the same time, I had a friend that was playing with me, and he couldn't believe how badly he was getting outperformed by a PC gamer while he's playing the Xbox. But anyway, guys, let's talk about what I'm thinking so far. Now, I'm having fun and I'm enjoying, you know, playing the game, but I don't think Xbox players are really having fun playing against PC gamers. Now, this game mode is made to be released for what do Xbox gamers and PC gamers think? Are they having fun with each other playing this game mode? And of course, Convolution said there will be no ranking system for this. So that's pretty good because why would it be a ranking system for two different platforms when the PC can outperform the Xbox by a long run? That is a huge advantage and that's a disadvantage for the Xbox gamers. And there's, that doesn't make any sense why there should be a ranking system. So let's keep it that way. This game mode is just meant for you to play strictly for fun. Nothing serious, even though there are some people that are going to play this very seriously. But this is not really a competitive gameplay mode because it just can't. It's unfair. But so far, I'm, I enjoy this game mode. Now the question is, will the Xbox gamers enjoy it? I'm pretty sure all the PC gamers said they're going to enjoy it. But the Xbox gamers, they had to give a feedback whether or not they're enjoying this game mode. Now Collision releases because they want PC gamers to constantly play the games and have fun. And there's more people playing Gears of War 4 on the Xbox than there are in the PC. And uh, if this game mode is successful and the Xbox gamers agree they are having fun with playing against PC gamers. Collision will decide to keep this game mode. I'm pretty sure they will. And that will help the PC community so much by... Finding servers and finding games instantly and very fast because there's just so much more Xbox players playing on the Gears of War 4 platform than there are in the PC. Now, in my opinion, I think what Collision should have done for this game mode is kept certain frame rate. Like, for PC gamers, just cap the 60 frames per second. Like, I mean, yeah, just cap the 60 frames per second. I think they should have done that so that you'd be able to play all the way to the max in Gears of War 4. And Xbox gamers can barely play even 60 frames per second on the fucking Xbox, of course, on Gears of War 4. And that's a huge disadvantage, guys. For you guys who are just watching this video, ignoring what I'm saying, this is true, guys. Higher frame rate really, really matters. And uh, if Coalition is going to decide that you're able to just get as much frames as you want in this game mode, against Xbox players, it's just a huge advantage for the PC gamers. And I don't know if Xbox players are really going to enjoy that. Like I said, at least you're able to play with your friend that's on the Xbox and you on playing a computer and you guys both own Gears of War. Now, I know in the very long run, eventually many games are going to be cross-platform. If you guys even remember, PS4 and Xbox One eventually is going to be cross-platform for certain games like Call of Duty or whatever game they have the same title. So. That's gonna work for console gaming, but will it work against PC gamers, guys? I man, I just have so much mixed feelings about this. It's just not. I don't know. I I just can't answer that, guys. Guys, if you continue watching this video, I want you to comment below. So far, what are you experiencing if you're playing cross-platform this weekend? I want you guys really, really tell me how you guys feel. And I hope most Xbox players message my comments and let me know if they're really having fun or not. Now. My opinion guys, I'm going to be honest with you, I think they should keep this game mode so the PC community can stay alive. And whoever plays cross-platform against PC gamers on the Xbox, it is their fault 
and their decision if they, whether or not if they want to play this. And it should happen, in my opinion. I think Coalition should just stick with the plan. But guys, like I said, it's all on the feedback of Xbox players, how they feel. If there's too many negative feedbacks, it will not go out. It will not stay much longer, but I think it should stay. I think people should just... I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm trying to keep the PC community alive as much as possible because... Uh, I think Gears of War should have been released a long time ago. Shit, if you guys are Halo players... I wish Halo 2 and 3, well, Halo 2 is, is on the PC, but I wish Halo 3 is on the fucking PC. And, uh, why I'm talking about Halo is because I'm trying to tell you guys that I'm kind of tired of every game not coming out for every platform. It is unfair, guys. Why we have to jump to console, to PC, and different gaming stations to play the game we want to play? It's so unfair, but it's all marketing and it's all fucked up. That's, that's the way this gaming business really works now these days, guys. But slowly by slowly by slowly, gaming companies are going to be able to make you play cross-platform. And that's such a great idea. It should have happened a long time ago. But at the same time, I wish every fucking game came out for every station. Every platform, for God's sake. It was, it's just going to be so much better in the long run. But whatever, guys. It is what it is. But I wish Gears of War came out a long time ago on the PC and the Xbox at the same time. Because it's not really fair, and a lot of people are just starting to get into Gears of War on the PC, and it's really, really fun. I really enjoy it. I like it more than the Xbox. But now let's talk about the mouse and keyboard against a controller. Now, guys, I'm telling you guys right off the bat, I made videos why the mouse and keyboard is better. I'm going to say it again a mouse and a keyboard will outperform the fuck out of the Xbox controller any fucking day. Any day, guys. And. I'm enjoying that some people are using the Xbox controller and cross-platform gameplay. Uh, it makes me happy because they have a harder time trying to shoot me down with a controller than a mouse and keyboard. So I really prefer, you know, going against Xbox players. It's I feel like I'm really outmatching everybody. And it sounds greedy what I'm saying, but I'm just letting you know, guys, uh, <laughs> I really feel about this cross-platform gameplay. But I wish Xbox had an option where you're able to use a mouse and keyboard a long time ago. Do I know why they never done this? Uh, no, I don't know why. You have to buy this thing called the Zim 4. I'll leave the description below what it is. Basically, it's a thing that designs to help you f use mouse and keyboard for console gaming. But you can use a mouse keyboard, you just can't plug it into the Xbox. You have to buy this device for you to use it and it costs 150 bucks. And that's too much money. That's, that's kind of stupid in my opinion. I don't know why Microsoft never allowed mouse and keyboard functions. But... Whatever, that's their decision a long time ago of what they wanted to do with the marketing, but... Anyway guys, like, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, please comment below guys, what do you guys think about cross-platform, but... I'm having fun playing my friends, we're all joking around, and uh... I just find this game mode very easy. At the same time, um... Uh, I should I should make a video of, uh... My experience cross platform with Xbox, but I'm just not into the Xbox guys. I'm not a big fan of the Xbox anymore, really. I I don't know, I just lost my big interest in it. I'm not trying to make an angry rant about why I dislike it, it's just I don't have fun playing it anymore for some reason. But anyway guys, I think cross platform should continue, but honestly I want this to be fair as much as possible for the Xbox community. And I want you guys to really give strong feedbacks how you feel if you guys are playing cross-platform this weekend. And I want you guys to comment below on my YouTube channel what do you guys really think. Feel free to ask me questions about all this. And um, I'm enjoying the game mode guys like I said. I'm, I'm having fun there. I'm able to play with my Xbox friends now at the same time. But that's it for today's video guys. If you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more content. But bye bye.